Welcome to the Greenfield Village Pottery Shop, a part of the Henry Ford in Dearborn, Michigan. We make pottery inspired by 300 years of American history. It's all handmade and hand decorated. The pieces are used here in our living history sites and they're also sold in our gift shops. Today I'm going to make a bottle that will be fired in our wood fired kiln. The first step is to center the clay on the potter's wheel. I use water to make the clay slippery so my hands won't stick to the clay. I pull my hands back to open it up, creating a well in the center. By squeezing the clay between my fingers from the inside and the outside, I force the clay to rise. I'm also pushing the clay out from the inside to make it a little bit more round. To create a bottle form, I squeeze the clay from the outside inward and upward. I use a tool called a rib, which is a piece of wood with a straight edge to help refine the shape. The next step is to remove the pot from the wheel. I use a twisted wire and run it underneath the pot to remove it. Now I'll gently move it aside where it will begin to dry and then it will be decorated. I'm a decorator here in the pottery shop and I'm going to decorate a vessel that Melinda just finished making on the wheel. I'm going to use something called slip, which is a watered down clay colored with oxides. And I'm going to use that in a slip trailer. And I'm going to decorate the piece with a very traditional design, a design that was used on a vessel in the 1700s. I'm going to press the slip trailer just slightly and you can see the clay come out and I'm creating my flower design. This piece that I was working on is similar to the piece you see there. That's what the finished look will be. And of course the color will change in the kiln. The heat changes color and it will have a very uh, bright, brilliant look. 